Have you seen it before? I haven't. I've had no reason to go near this cursed lake until now. What of you? I traveled the long way around it once before. Not so pleasant. Something about it just frays your nerves. Although, even being near it is enough. wonder you were assigned this mission. At least we're taking the bridge this time. It'll only take two days instead of double that, and the sooner this place is behind us, the better. It would be preferable not to risk it. But time is of the essence. We don't really have a choice. I can also see why they chose you to come out here. You're always so calm, so serious. Nothing can get to you. You're the best choice they had. You know the town on the other side of the lake, though. It's not so similar to ours. If all goes well, perhaps we'll have enough time to enjoy the new area. Someone's already here. Margaret. Kika the Steadfast. Bamele. Hello? Where is the guide? Unless he's on the center island, or on the complete other side, your guess is as good as mine. It's dark as pitch out there. We can't cross without him, and we need to get going soon. You can't cross with him, either. What? I know the guide will be here tonight. I have already made arrangements with him to cross.
I have his word he'll take me today. It would be wiser for the two of you to begin the trip around if you're really in such a hurry. Or you can make camp here and wait for him to make the trip back if you prefer. Even if that is so, my companion and I must begin the trip tonight. We'll wait for the guide to arrive before coming to a conclusion about any of this. You can do as you like. What's that bastard even up to? With a mouth like that, you shouldn't even have the right to ask the guide to take you across. How ludicrous. He's faced far worse than a bit of foul language. Do you know anything that's happened with this lake? I know enough. The guide's father is Garvin the Exemplar. Garvin never accepted the guide as his son, all the way up until he died in this lake. Your statement could be seen as tasteless. Oh. My apologies to the guide. I didn't mean it that way. I never knew about his... well, that. brash but not intentionally cruel. I'm sure all is well. You're a good woman, Kika. Smart, too. You've never been here, yet you knew more of the guy than I did. I know about Garvin, truthfully. Tales of his deeds were some of the only stories my parents ever told. Is that so? You could tell me more about it sometime. I would like that very much. Yes, I wouldn't mind that. It must wait until after this trip, though. Of course. We should drop this topic sooner rather than later, in any case. I agree. Are you the guide of Sinlos? Well, that's grand. We would like an escort across the lake. Hello, it's good to see you again. I'm ready to cross, as we've agreed upon. <laughs> Is there a way we can all begin the trip tonight? Yes, I will allow all three of you to go. But with that many, at least one will die before we reach the other side. You should go around. We don't have time for that! 
There are people counting on us for protection. Why does she need to go? I don't need to explain myself to you. My journey has already been put off once, and I was promised I could go today. I will be going under any circumstances. An extra day or two shouldn't be that much of a problem for you. Whoever you're meeting can surely wait such a tiny amount longer. Patience is a virtue after all. The night is only so long, and if we're still on the bridges when the sun comes up, we'll all die as they sink back below the surface. If you don't decide soon, no one will be going. We can easily get her to back off if we make this into an actual fight. After all, we have to go tonight, yes? If one of us really is to die, it'll be her. Would staying be a worse fate than her death? We don't know her situation. This isn't a decision we can make for her. What? The guide won't accept something like that, I assume. Then what else do you have in mind? First of all, you and I cannot split up. Either we both stay, or we both go. Right. That's not a question. Stay. What? You would have already decided to come if you had the proper mindset for a journey such as this. You two will stay. But you don't understand. This is bullshit. We are more than equipped to make this journey. And we know more of what it means to be in danger than most will know in all their life. You two will stay. Goodbye.
It's been years since the time of Garvin the Exemplar. It's impressive you knew. Yes, I do like to stay informed. And you knew too. Good. This lake shouldn't be allowed to swallow even history itself. My town, the one where I was born at least, was also Garvin's hometown. I was very young when he passed. The entire village went into mourning. People broke down crying in the streets. I'll never forget it. He meant much to everyone who knew him. Oh, I have no such connections. I merely read about it. I'm sorry for your loss. It's all right. Thank you. Are you the guide of Sinlos? Well, that's grand. We would like an escort. Hello, it's good to see you again. I'm ready to cross, as we've agreed upon. Is there a way we can all begin the trip tonight? Yes, I will allow all three of you to go. But with that many, at least one will die before we reach the other side. You should go around. We don't have time for that! There are people counting on us for protection. Why does she need to go? I don't need to explain myself to you. My journey has already been put off once, and I was promised I could go today. I will be going under any circumstances. An extra day or two shouldn't be that much of a problem for you. Whoever you're meeting can surely wait such a tiny amount longer. Patience is a virtue after all. The night is only so long, and if we're still on the bridges when the sun comes up, we'll all die as they sink back below the surface. If you don't decide soon, no one will be going. That woman isn't armed. We can easily get her to back off if we make this into an actual fight. After all, we have to go tonight, yes? If one of us really is to die, it'll be her. Would staying be a worse fate than her death? We don't know her situation. This isn't a decision we can make for her. What? The guide won't accept something like that, I assume. Then what else do you have in mind? First of all, you and I cannot split up. Either we both stay, or we both go. Right. That's not a question. Ooh. And I believe you. We shouldn't waste more time. Let's shove off. We should do what we can to protect her. It's our fault she's being put in even further danger. Exactly my thoughts. We will take care of everything. Maybe I'm being naive, but I have no intentions of letting anyone fall victim to this lake tonight. Those monsters can starve.
Fall back a bit. You're following me too closely. I'm sorry. If someone gets pulled into the lake, they'll instinctively reach for anything to hold on to. Do not let that be you. I understand. Thank you for the advice. You can speak amongst yourselves if you so choose. As long as you pay attention to where you're going, there is no worth in listening to the sounds out there. If there's anything at all, it'll only be Nixie trying to set you on edge. All right. Then, could you tell us your name? You didn't have a chance to properly introduce yourself, and I've only heard you being referred to as the guide. I don't have a name. Oh. Margaret, thank you for allowing us to join you. It wasn't exactly up to me. The guide said he would take you. But thank you for saying that. It's appreciated. Bemele and I will do our best to be an asset on this trip, rather than a burden. That's nice. I'm not afraid to be out here, though. Still, at least with your training, you should be able to take care of yourselves. Taking care of yourself is exactly what you need to do. Work to survive at all costs, and hope that everyone around you has enough sense to do the same. That's the only way you'll make it to the other side. Groups tend to go further when they work together to achieve the same goal. I believe I saw something over there. Keep walking. No need to worry. What did he say? Behind. Yes, Nixie that stumble across the bridges looking for opportunities. The ones that can make it out of the water are generally referred to as prowlers. I had no idea things like that were out here. Is that what Kika saw down the other path? much by swords, but... but at least light keeps them away, right? Direct light will force it to return to the lake. However, it'll try to drag the light, or you, down with it before it goes. Okay. Does anyone have a light we can leave here? That way it won't follow us. Only matches. Don't forget it's there, don't let your guard down, and don't get left behind. What? How am I supposed to keep walking with this thing at my heels? You said it wants to attack! Don't give it the chance. Here, I'll lead you like this. And you can keep your focus solely on the Prowler. Make sure...
At least there's someone I can count on. Don. Kika, thank you. Emily, they're stopping. There's another one. Don't get any closer. Give me a lantern. We'll throw it. If you have to take someone's, take mine. Yes. An extra light won't do us much good when we're standing this close together. Thank you. Stay here. I can't throw it too far. The light... We should keep going, before it comes back. <sighs> Kika, thank you. away for one second it's fine Bamele. we're all fine <gasps> are you actually all right i am fine Kika, thank you. Again. You saved my life. I won't let this happen again. Yes. Yes. It would be good for all of us to pay more attention. We lost the lantern I threw. And Nick grabbed it after the light went out. It's better than them taking anything else. We need to keep walking. You can stay near me, Bemele, since your lantern is lost. I... I appreciate it.
Why does it look like something's dripping down their faces? I'm not sure. Me neither. Something's wrong with them, though. They live in water. Air shouldn't be good for the things, but they want to drown humans so much they're willing to drag themselves around on land? It's not right. Well, I don't disagree that there's something very wrong about them. I truly, truly hope that's the last we'll see of the Prowlers. You. Uh, since you two have to share a light, wouldn't it be safer to be in the middle? That way, you'll catch the edges of my light and the guides, and it won't be so dangerous if Bamele loses his position momentarily. That's a very kind offer, Margaret. As thoughtful as it is, I, at least, am fine with bringing up the rear. I'm used to keeping watch for monsters, and since there are two of us, I can pay attention to the back while Kika focuses ahead. It's not my light, though, so I shouldn't be the one to decide what she should do with it. Seems like it. Yes, I think we'll be good here. But really, thank you. That was a very kind offer. Well, all right. So, I don't want to sound like a child, but how much longer until we arrive at the halfway point? We still have some ways to go. Damn. The first trial tends to be the most difficult. I believe we will only react better from this point on. I like the way you think. I think Kika deserves a round of applause. Her quick reflexes are owed the utmost appreciation. It was indeed a sight. You're quite capable. Bemele was also a sight, but for very different reasons. The way he froze with his mouth all agape was a laugh in itself. <laughs> You should know, she and I are usually on equal footing. <laughs> the only reason you had footing at all is because she pulled you back. That's very true. You can always count on Kika.
We have to jump. What? Go. We'll catch up. But... Bemele and I will have to jump together. He needs the light. Just move. Here. Jump! Stay close. We need to run. I'll be right behind you. Why did we stop? It's a man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Please. I'm sorry. Leave him. No! We, we can't just leave him here. We've managed fine enough already, and these creatures will probably pluck him away as soon as we've gone. Without light, it's certain he'll die. He won't make it regardless. Whoever shelters him will only risk dragging themselves down with him. Leave him. If the man comes, then whoever is shielding him will have to remain at a distance from the rest of the group. Far enough that you can't see me, just my light. That is how you will travel across the bridges. I didn't agree to lead this man, and I won't. 
If you ask me to, I will leave you all behind. Are you well, stranger? Do you know where you are and why you're here? I'm fine. You all can go on your way. Forget you even saw me here. That's absurd. You have no way to defend yourself. We can't leave you. Yes. I'm sure in your eyes I might not seem like much, but that's not exactly a fair shake. Maybe in a perfect world, every man would be as large as you. But that's not how things always go. Doesn't mean I'm defenseless. It... it was a joke. What part of it was supposed to be the joke? Do you even realize what is happening in this moment? Never mind. Forget that too. Point is, I'm alright. You were curled up in a ball when we met. Exactly! Something must be wrong with you. Oh no, sounds like you've been talking with my father. That's not even the right way. It could be, if he's trying to get to the side we came from. He must have come quite a ways if it was the other shore that he started on. Good. That's not so bad. I still think he should come with us. A person needs a light, and the guide himself said he won't be able to manage on his own. Sticking with us is his best option. It's easy for you to say such things, but whose light are you offering? It's not mine. And you are putting her in even more danger with your own presence already. Perhaps I could have let him share my light... before. But the guide has said the one with him has to remain behind, and... I simply wouldn't be able to manage it. You... don't worry about me. I I'll be on my way now. taking it's not going to make any difference we can't give directions when the bridges we were on might very well have sunken away we shouldn't focus on what might become of him 
He has his own path to follow, and we ours. We should focus on what we're doing now. Not again. We already lost a lantern and it's only our first day. We can't keep doing this. Yes, we can't lose a lantern at this point. We're almost to the island. What are you planning? them? What if the bridge sets on fire? It will. We're going to run. This is insane! These bridges are hellish enough without them also being on fire. And what about the other man? If he's still out there, this could... He's dead. We're not losing another lantern. Don't get left behind. Glasses aren't here anymore. We have to go or we'll lose the guide. It's the island.
Good work out there. Good work out there. How are you doing without your glasses? Oh, I'll manage. I have to, after all. I'm not completely blind, thankfully, so I can muddle my way through. There isn't anything much to see out on those bridges. As long as you stay away from the edge, you should be as safe as you were before. That's true. It will be fine. The sun will rise soon. The fire on the bridge is the only reason this island isn't overrun with prowlers right now. However, they could still pose a threat. Is that why you decided to set the bridges on fire? To make the island safer? Setting the bridges alight isn't an uncommon strategy. It has many uses. If any of you see anything at all, speak up. We don't want them to sneak up on us. We no longer have to worry about the Nixie. It is over for today. Hello. Morning. Is it even morning anymore? We should eat something soon. Margaret, do you have enough supplies? Yes, I think I'll be alright with what I have. That's a relief. 
The two of us have plenty of rations, though, so if you need anything, you can always ask. You know, the two of you need to stop looking out for everyone else so much. I'm sorry, I... I didn't intend... It's not your fault. <laughs> the Nixie will not tread on land in daylight. However, being near the shoreline is still dangerous. If you leave the center of the island, remain cautious. Before the sun sets, I will be in this area. It would be wise to meet me here before nightfall. Why did we have to leave him behind? If you would just let him follow behind us, he would be alive! If all you're going to do is leave everyone to be lost, then why bother guiding us at all? Wait! Bamele, I know you're angry, but regardless of our feelings, we need the guide. If he leaves us, we'll all die. And we've done so well with him? We can't afford to lose our way. You're right, Kika. You're right. I can't stay here right now. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Nothing is all right, and it will never get any better. Dealing with these sorts of situations calmly is part of a job. But I cannot tell myself everything is fine or that none of it matters. Sure, I can feel something without it being anger, but I've not figured that out either. Am I simply being foolish? Would it really have been so harmful to try and help someone else instead of focusing solely on oneself? It looks to me like we're telling ourselves these lines to avoid responsibility. I don't know. It's possible you helping would have worked better. It's also possible it would have been worse. I 
want it to be clear that I have not forgotten that those people across this lake are depending upon us. Not for a moment. But would they want us to be so focused on them that we should turn a blind eye to others right in front of us? Even if they would, does that matter? We are more than weapons, we are people. Do we have to cast that aside, turn away from our fellow humans, just to achieve a so-called greater good? It is not as though this village is a haven of saints. They are only as worthwhile as we are and these people on the bridges with us, aren't they? I don't know. What do you think about all this, Kika? Please, be honest with me. I want to hear it. I really don't know. That is the truth. Kika. What is troubling you? I don't have the answers to what you are wondering. Who are we meant to protect? Everyone we can? Whoever we're told to serve and no one else? Just ourselves? Should we only try to protect others when the risk is minimal? I have no idea what the right option is. I am sorry for disappointing you. No! You haven't disappointed me in any way. I never should have expected someone else to give me answers to those kinds of questions. It is only... I did not think that... You did not think I was concerned with these issues? Yes. You never seemed to be bothered by anything we experienced before now. Scared. I've always been afraid and confused, but I have kept up a... A farce of strength in order to get by. I had no idea. How could I not have noticed? Because I did whatever I could to make sure no one did. I have never wished to appear weak in front of others. But the truth is, I barely get through each day. I often feel overwhelmed with sadness at all that we have experienced. Kika, I truly apologize for all the thoughtless things I have said to you. There is no need for you to apologize. I beg to differ. I have failed to treat you right. You have always been respectful. A person needs more than respect from their comrades. They also need support. I have never given you that kind of consideration because I believed someone like you did not need it. The same could be said for me. Nonsense. You have listened to my rambling on more occasions than I can remember. I admit my memories may not be there due to being drunk many of those times. You have my thanks. And you have mine. I will come to answer these questions someday, but no matter what I decide, I will still put trust in your judgment.
Perhaps we should go check how everything is on the island. That sounds like an excellent idea. And I will accompany you, of course. Glad to hear it. Would you like to take a walk with me? We could pass around the edges of the forest where there's less in the way. There doesn't need to be a purpose to the walk. It only needs to be a way to spend time together. I would prefer that to not doing anything. I would be delighted to accompany you, Kika. Perhaps it may be better not to, after all. We'll be walking all throughout the night. I believe I've spent quite enough time resting. If I'm being honest, I think I need a break from all this waiting around. All right. We'll do that then. Oh. Of course. That's our first priority. Thank you, Bemelay. I'm happy to. the matter. I take it the guards are doing their rounds. It seems we are. Old habits die hard. Well, that's nice. I'm happy to report that everything's in order on this front. Good to hear that. Is that everything? We can leave you for now if that's what you'd like. Wouldn't want to be a nuisance. That would be most appreciated. I'd like to have a little time to myself before we return back... out there. Hmm. We'll be around if anything comes up. Thank you for that and for stopping by. Be well. Goodbye. still be interested in our little stroll? Yes. That would be nice. We best be heading out then.
Please, let me handle this. It's been far too long since I've taken it out. At this rate, I'll forget how to even use a sword before we arrive. Hmm, I see. Would you be up for a bout of sparring? I'll accept that. Stop. We can't exert all our energy here. Huh. <sighs> Thank God there's at least one of us responsible enough to point that out. Would it perhaps be alright to at least finish our stroll before sitting back down again? We shouldn't go the entire length of the island. But I suppose we can walk just a little longer. It's a deal. should rest before nightfall. I'm fine with that idea. up fine I would rather speak of anything other than that I think we can manage that it's almost time We must go to the shore.
The bridges are late. If they don't arrive as soon as darkness falls, there's no telling exactly how long it will be before they do. So we're going to waste our time standing idly by. There's hardly enough time to make the trip as it is. Complaining won't make these bridges come any sooner, though I sympathize with your frustrations. The wait had already been tense as it was. Not knowing how much longer it will last makes it that much more dreadful. Time is by far the least of our worries. On the bridges we are constantly moving, which makes it easier to avoid the prowlers. However, this island does not offer that luxury. We're trapped here. More importantly, the bridges are raised above the waters. Nixie have difficulties pulling themselves up onto the bridges. The soft sloping of the shore will allow far more prowlers to drag themselves towards us. Not all will be as dangerous as the ones we've encountered thus far. However, we could easily be overwhelmed. I wonder if those fires had anything to do with this. No. Whatever magic controlling the bridges is inconsistent, humans haven't found a way to impact it. We can only do temporary physical damage to the boards. sure if the monsters could be coming towards us at any moment. Staying in the center of the island is the safest option. However, there's the risk that we may not be able to reach the bridges when they do rise. Prowlers could have taken full control of the shore by then. Remaining here with our lanterns will ensure the prowlers cannot move freely. I will not be kept on this island for another day, so the shore is where I will be. You may wait at the edge of the forest, or even at the center of the island if you fear being attacked. If the prowlers come between us and you fail to make it to the bridges, I will leave you behind. Of course you would. If you were staying by the shore, perhaps I could be positioned somewhat further back from you. And then the others could stay further back still. That would keep us safer, without having any major gaps of darkness between us and the shore. Good suggestion, Kika. I'd say that's likely our best option, and we don't have time to come up with any other way regardless. What happened? There was a prowler in the woods. I didn't notice it until it was already too close to me. 
I dropped my lantern when I saw it. The light was enough to drive it away, but now it's gone. Shattered. I didn't see the thing either. The monster blended in far too well with the dark, crooked trees of this place. We can make a small fire for light. That may work for now, but what will we do once we're back on the bridges? We will manage. You should go back to your position, Kika. It will all be for nothing if we can't make it onto the bridges in the first place. Right. We're going to get through this. Your safety is most important. Consider retreating. I cannot do that. Nixie recognized signs of weakness. Backing away will only increase the odds of them attacking.
We have to leave. when we get close. The smoke spewing off this thing is making it even harder to see than usual. So you tell me when it's time, Kika. I can do that. Such recklessness. I can hardly believe it worked. I don't know how we managed to do nothing wrong. That feels far more fitting for this journey. Yes, you could have burnt your fingertips off. Or perhaps the bridges could have gone up in flames. That would have been the outcome if I was handling the chorch, you think? Yes. We need to start walking. We've already lost much time as it is. Are you alright? Is there anything we can do? I don't have much. But I could still clean and wrap it. I tended to it myself when you were still on the shore. Are you... able to walk? Not like this. I have... a way. It will be enough to get to the other side. Drinking this will numb the pain. I'll be able to ignore that my leg is injured for the time being. Is that safe? It must cause drowsiness or have some kind of impact on you. Not to mention, pushing your leg so hard when it's in that state could permanently ruin it. My leg isn't broken. It will heal without issue once I am able to treat it. In order for that to happen, however, I need to live. What about side effects? 
You didn't say what they were. It can slow reflexes and cloud the mind. I will only be taking half a dose. It won't ease all of the pain. However, it will reduce the odds that I will be notably impacted by any adverse effects. I know how you feel about others coming close to you, but is that truly the best solution to a situation like this? You need to be clear-headed here. No. You can't drink something like that. I'll carry you. That won't... You have made it very clear that at the first inconvenience, you would leave us all for dead in the water. As you are now. That is impossible. So, this isn't about any possible adverse effects. You want to leave me injured and immobile on purpose. If there were no side effects, I likely would have thought nothing of it. However, mentioning those risks triggered something in my mind. You've never done what's best for the group, you only choose the safe option for yourself. With that in mind, I can't exactly trust you when you tell us that the medicine is truly our one option. Now, even if carrying you means that you will be more at risk than otherwise, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. I hope you're proud that I'm following your advised method of not considering others, Guide. There, he accepts it. What of you? I never expected even you to attempt something like it. What if the guy had had another bottle with him? We would have all been abandoned by now. I'd have taken that bottle too. If anyone is worried about my ability to carry the guide for the rest of the night, you shouldn't be. Rest assured, a willowy man like the guide won't slow me down whatsoever.
Are you able to walk? Not like this. I have a way. It will be enough to get to the other side. Drinking this will numb the pain. I'll be able to ignore that my leg is injured for the time being. I believe you are capable of carrying the guide to the other side. That seems like the least risky option we have for the group at large. Fret not. I will take proper care to lift you. This isn't the first time I've carried an injured traveling partner. I'll have to hoist you over my shoulder since we've still got a ways to go. I ask that you don't make too much of a fuss about it. I'm hardly in a position to resist. You've taken away my ability to do anything but be dependent on you and your decisions. Even though this path was only taken because I am not someone you care for rather than true pragmatism, it is a better mindset to have on these bridges than how you've acted thus far. Thank you for your approval. believe that this is the solution we've come to. With the way the guide acts though, I suppose that I shouldn't be too surprised people are willing to turn on him this way. Continue down this bridge. We cannot remain here any longer. Normally, it would be possible to cross a narrow bridge if one is careful with how they step. We can't continue as we are. Our combined weight is too much. Is there another path? This is our path. So, you knew from the start we'd reach a point where putting you down was the only option.
Unfortunately, that plan isn't going to work. I may not look the part, but I'm quite light on my feet. If this is our path, then prepare to cross it with me. Please, you have to try to think of another way. There are so many branches. At least one other must be able to take us to the shore. I worry the worst will occur if this continues. There is another path. It is longer, however, and prowlers are a far more common sight. It will still be more manageable than this bridge. Go back a small ways. You will find a branch heading west. Take it. Because of Kika's status, she has the option to choose which missions to take rather than have to do whatever she is told. Despite that, she accepts each task assigned to her. Our entire village is awfully proud to have her. You are always much too kind. Every guard does what's asked of them. I am no different from them, or you for that matter. If there was nothing to admire about you, then I wouldn't do so. But the more I learn of who you are, the more I know for certain that I'm right about what I say. You aren't falling asleep up there. You've got to stay on your toes, even if you aren't walking on them. You're leading the way. Why are you so eager to die? Hmm. I'm not sure where you got an idea like that from. I've already explained that I'm doing this precisely so we won't die. Preventing you from leaving us to those monsters is worth a little added weight. Letting me lead uninterrupted means there was a chance I could leave you behind, yes. However, that was a moderate risk compared to the enormous one you are taking right now by carrying another person. 
It is not you who benefited from this. The risk was lowered then. Good to have a confirmation on that. A heroic end isn't something to strive for. It is a waste. There have to be those who are willing to work for more than themselves. If there aren't, then it won't be possible to build something greater than just a single person. down that path. We cannot stay here. We'll be trapped by prowlers. Unless you've lost the ability to give directions, that's not going to happen. to my lantern and I will take the guide. I can't manage for as long as you have. However, that would be better than pushing yourself to the limit. I would appreciate that. The two of us make for a much better pair than he and I. Does our guide agree with that assessment? I will help you now. We need to get out of here.
turn down that branch. Is the shore close? We will have to run. We're almost there. We are going to make it. Close enough to the end, I think. If Kika gives the medicine back, would you be able to manage the rest of the walk on your own? There isn't time for it to take effect. Hmm. Well then, might I help you with that dead weight? I'll take one arm and you can keep the other.
Thank God. It is time to leave this place. There is nothing left for you here. Goodbye. This will be goodbye for us as well. I appreciate the opportunity you've graced me with. However, I won't be returning here. so terribly sad. We don't have to put all of this behind us, especially not right at this moment. I'm not sure I'm the same coming off the bridges as I was stepping onto them. It's something I'll always have to live with. That's alright, isn't it? Yes, it is. This won't be the last time we face situations where lives are on the line. I understand the difficult decisions will need to be made. Still, I am not going to let anyone abandon someone else, if I can help it. I can always look for another way. After all, it's impossible that I could ever be the most logical person in the room. Someone else will stop too much recklessness from happening. And then, occasionally, my focus on finding a solution to help all instead of accepting a painful reality will make a difference. I think that's wonderful, and very much like you. Let me add that I don't want you to feel as though you personally need to make up for my idealism. I'm not your responsibility, and I'd like for you to be happy and honest about how you feel, and... Bamele, you have never been my responsibility. You're my partner, and you don't have to worry about me either. I understand. As a pair, I take pride in how one is strong where the other is weak. K 
Kika, thank you. Thank you, too. I hope that this means I'll be allowed to keep sharing your company from now on. It seems I've gotten used to seeing you each day. I would love nothing more. It truly is time for us to leave this place. That is music to my ears. It's a man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Please. I'm sorry.
leave him. No! We, we can't just leave him here. We've managed fine enough already, and these creatures will probably pluck him away as soon as we've gone. Without light, it's certain he'll die. He won't make it regardless. Whoever shelters him will only risk dragging themselves down with him. Leave him. If the man comes, then whoever is shielding him will have to remain at a distance from the rest of the group. Far enough that you can't see me, just my light. That is how you will travel across the bridges. I didn't agree to lead this man. And I won't. If you ask me to, I will leave you all behind. Are you well, stranger? Do you know where you are and why you're here? Fine. You all can go on your way. Forget you even saw me here. That's absurd. You have no way to defend yourself. We can't leave you. Yes. I'm sure in your eyes I might not seem like much. But that's not exactly a fair shake. Maybe in a perfect world, every man would be as large as you. But that's not how things always go. Doesn't mean I'm defenseless. was a joke. What part of it was supposed to be the joke? Do you even realize what is happening in this moment? Never mind. Forget that too. Point is, I'm alright. You were curled up in a ball when we met. Exactly! Something must be wrong with you. Oh no. Sounds like you've been talking with my father. That's not even the right way. It could be, if he's trying to get to the side we came from. He must have come quite a ways if it was the other shore that he started on. Good. That's not so bad. I still think he should come with us. A person needs a light, and the guide himself said he won't be able to manage on his own. Sticking with us is his best option. It's easy for you to say such things, but whose light are you offering? It's not mine, and you are putting her in even more danger with your own presence already. Perhaps I could have let him share my light... before. But the guide has said the one with him has to remain behind, and I simply wouldn't be able to manage it. about me. I'll be on my way now. I am not afraid to stay behind as long as Bemele can remain up front with you in your light. One can always count on you, Kika. Well, what will it be? I can stay in between you and the guide. I don't need to be right next to either of you. 
That way you won't have to worry about a repeat of what happened earlier. I, I wouldn't refuse you being here. Really, I could just go on my own. It's fine. You do not need to go this alone. I will protect you. Oh, okay. All right. You should get a head start, correct? You'll no! Uh, no, we don't have to do that! Yes, we do. Why am I always so powerless? Please be careful. Take care back here, all right? We'll all be together again when we reach the halfway island. It won't be too much longer now. We'll have a nice little camp out and you can properly introduce yourself to us. Maybe even tell a real joke or two. I'm sorry to put you in even more. Stop. I don't begrudge you at all. In fact, I'm glad you did. All I want is for you to remember that goal. Each of us, together, on the island, and then on the other shore, safe. This isn't about what our job is, or where other people need us to be. You two. You two should look out for each other. leaving me behind either. Watch out for yourself too, not just for everyone else. I will. You should go after them. You don't need to do this. What? I'd rather know you returned to them safe, and that you all had a chance to make it back together. The way they acted. Having to go on without you. No one would feel that way for me. I'm not worth it. That's not... It's true. You lot certainly made a scene, huh? That's nice. Being loved and all. I don't know exactly what kind of love it is you share, but there has to be a bond in that group of yours. I mean, especially with the long-haired one. You wouldn't look at anyone like that. doesn't matter. I can still try for the other shore. Go. We should start walking. That should be enough of a head start for them. Have you a name? Barely. I don't really know what I am to take from that. Lou. Only two letters. So barely. I see. 
What are you doing out here without the guide? That's a good question. I'm not sure I know myself. What does that mean? Is that some sort of joke too? Or do you genuinely not remember how you arrived where you are? No, it wasn't a joke. Or, well, there is a point to it all. But, I don't know why I even tried. You'd think that I'd be able to call a spade a spade already, right? <sighs> I'd rather not talk about it. What about you? What brings you out on this little adventure? People. On the other side. People who need my help. You have someone waiting on you? Then why are you risking yourself on me instead of worrying about what's going to happen to them? Sorry. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. It, it just fell out somehow. I wasn't thinking. Of course I'm going to be there for those counting on me. But you aren't nothing. I won't simply turn my back on you. I probably have to disagree. Still, that's nice of you to say. We may not know each other well, but you wanted us to go on without you for our own safety. You even tried to have a sense of humor about it. That counts for some. That's true. Thank you for staying back with me. It's kind of nice. No need to thank me. Oh right, I can't even show gratitude correctly. Of course. It is not funny to make a joke out of thinking that way about yourself. If you don't want people to say things like that, then you shouldn't reject their thanks. Either I did right by thanking you, or I did wrong. Fine. You're welcome. I'm glad. could have seen myself in a situation like this. It seems things really aren't over until they're over. Did you think it was over? Yeah, I did. Something really is wrong with me. Somehow, I feel lighter. I wonder who'll still be left standing when this is truly all over. Everyone will be. You know that's not possible, don't you? Someone will go. You should focus on making sure it's someone else. You don't seem to be concerned with self-preservation. True, but it's not the same for me. Hmm. We're going to run.
immigrant! No, he can't be gone. What happened to the guide? Is he also? No, I don't think so. I couldn't see through the smoke and without my glasses. I didn't hear anything. How did this happen? While we were running through the fire, the bridge shook. It knocked my glasses off. I bent down to pick them up. There were footsteps. Someone kept going and <laughs> then Bamele asked if I was all right. He said he'd stay to keep watch while I couldn't see. That sounds like Bamele. I'm so sorry. We need to leave. Which way did the guide go? It sounded like he just went forward, and then I couldn't hear him anymore. That will work. Lou? What are you doing? I'm sorry. Both of you stay close. We are not going to separate again. Let's look for another bridge. I... I don't know. I don't know which way. It's all right. Did you hear that? It sounded like a whistle. It came from the right. Do those monsters know how to whistle? I would assume not, but... We should go right, I think. To where the sound came from. I agree. There's more of a chance the whistle was a sign for good over ill. It's time to sleep.
Hello. Hello to you. We should eat something soon. I don't trust what is on this island, so I'll have to split my supplies with Lou. I admit, for a trip of this length, I could only manage to carry the minimum, so I don't have much to share. However, you shouldn't be the only one who gives something up. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. You won't make it very far if you don't have something to eat. No thanks. I wonder when the last time he ate even was. Considering where we found him, he could have been out over Sinlos for more than a day. Yet, he has nothing with him. I'm concerned about that as well. But I know it can be difficult to force yourself to eat after something traumatic, and... I'm afraid I'm not very skilled at encouraging others. The Nixie will not tread on land in daylight. However, being near the shoreline is still dangerous. If you leave the center of the island, remain cautious. Before the sun sets, I will be in this area. It would be wise to meet me here before nightfall. And just what needs to be done over in those woods that cannot be done in the brush here with the rest of us? Are you all right? No, I'm not. Nothing is all right. And it will never get any better. I'm sorry for what happened last night. You would have been better off without me. It's not your fault. It was closer to being my fault than anyone else's. I wasn't supposed to be here, and all I did was get in the way. The guide was right about me. I knew from the beginning that it would be like this too. I never should have stayed. Would you be willing to speak with me? I could do that. I don't think I'm the person you want to ask difficult questions. No one else can answer this one. It's about you. Oh. In that case, I'm really not the kind of person to give good answers. I understand. You can ask me anything. I'll try to answer. But I hope you have a lot of patience. Thank you. So, what do you want to know? Have you lost someone in the lake? I'm sorry for prying, but when we found you, it seemed like you were apologizing to someone. And the way you've acted since makes me think that something is wrong. Something beyond even being out on Sinlos. I hate myself. I can't do anything. 
You don't have to say any more. I was wrong to ask you about it. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm not with the concern. How can you say that? What have you done that was wrong in this moment? It was only my mistake. You think that because you don't know? I do not believe you. I'm not upset because I lost someone out here. I'm upset because I can't bring myself to lie about it. What? You gave me the perfect opportunity to cover up the pathetic truth of what actually happened. All I had to do was go along with your assumption. But when you're so direct, I can't keep my thoughts hidden. I'm too afraid of making a mistake and having... Why do I have to be so terrible at this? See? You shouldn't waste your sympathies on someone like me. You should have left me to die. Pull yourself together. I didn't leave you behind before and I'm not going to do so now. The best thing you can do to help is put those kinds of thoughts in the back of your mind. Or what? I won't make it to the other side? If I thought joining you was a way to stay alive, I would have acted much differently. The only reason I came along is because I thought it might be nice to not die alone and forgotten. The guide really didn't know what he was saying before. I asked him if I could go out on the bridges in the past. He told me not to. Said I couldn't handle it. I'm not sorry for ignoring the warning. This was something I had to do. This was my only chance to prove I'm not worthless. Or to finally accept that I was once and for all. And we know what the truth is. Stop. It doesn't have to be this way. You said yourself that it isn't over until it's completely over. There's still a possibility that... No, there isn't. I don't know what has happened to you, but if there's something you need to do, you can try again tomorrow night. You don't need to give up. You have value. Alright. I'll try to stay alive, if you'll do something for me. What is it? Don't put yourself in danger for my sake anymore. Fine. I'll accept those terms. Good. Now you might survive. You need to survive too. It goes without saying. I know you don't want anything to happen to anyone else. I want to see how everything is on the island. I'll make it easier by coming along. Then you won't ever have to check on me. That would be good. Happy to help. Is something the matter? Are you keeping an eye on the rest of us to make sure we don't get into trouble? That's not it. Anything could happen, so it is good to stay alert even in daylight. Lou is here because he was also concerned. Well, that's nice. Does this mean you don't have something to say? I'm happy to report that everything's in order on this front. I'm... glad. Is that everything? I suppose it is. Then goodbye. 
If you need anything, we will be close by. Yes, thank you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. It's good to know the others are well. I... I think I'll go to the shore. What? Why? I saw something earlier that I'd like to check out. The shoreline is dangerous. Whatever you saw could not be worth the risk. Watching a Nyx drag itself across the shore in the middle of the day would be worth the danger in my opinion. I was only joking. I'm still going though. Don't worry, I'll be careful. We talked about this. You said you didn't want to make me watch out for you. I'll be back soon. You won't even notice. Fine. Of course you can come. I'd enjoy that. It is so much nicer out here. You know what I mean, right? Yes. The shore has its... Is there anything on your mind? Something you'd like to ask me, maybe? Yes, I'm surprised you brought attention to it. When you're as suspicious as I am, it's pretty easy to guess that people will have questions. I think I've asked you enough questions. I've done odd jobs most of my life. The only title you could say I've had is Messenger Boy. That is nothing to be ashamed of. Information is meaningless if it is not with those who can use it. There are far less honorable ways of making a living in this world. I can think of some too. Some that I've done. Thank you. I didn't say anything. That's what I'm grateful for. It is no trouble. Isn't it amazing? I wonder if other lakes have shells like this. I... don't know. Is that what you were expecting to find? It is. I like shells. The world is so dreary. Any flowers that bloom will wither and die in days without attention. I can't find a way to appreciate such fleeting things. It's only sad. Shells are beautiful and they can persevere. That is something I respect. It is good you were able to find what you were searching for. I think so too. Why don't you keep it? It can be a reminder of me.
Thank you for coming with me. It was no trouble, Lou. Really. Thank you for this. However, even if you didn't give it to me, I would not forget you. I'm so glad I met you. Likewise. I'm happy we crossed paths. I hope that will never change. If you think of me from time to time, it would make this all worthwhile. We can head back to the forest now. Right. That is for the best since we still need to rest before sundown. We will take the smoothest route back to the clearing. Do I look so fragile? Anyone would have trouble with no shoes. I figured someone like you would say I needed to toughen up. Come on, we should go. idea of coming here a bit early. It's almost time. We must go to the shore. The bridges are late. If they don't arrive as soon as darkness falls, there's no telling exactly how long it will be before they do. Time is by far the least of our worries. On the bridges we are constantly moving, which makes it easier to avoid the prowlers. However, this island does not offer that luxury. We're trapped here. More importantly, the bridges are raised above the waters. Nixie have difficulties pulling themselves up onto the bridges. The soft sloping of the shore will allow far more prowlers to drag themselves towards us. Not all will be as dangerous as the ones we've encountered thus far. However, we could easily be overwhelmed. could be coming towards us at any moment! Staying in the center of the island is the safest option. However, there's the risk that we may not be able to reach the bridges when they do rise. Prowlers could have taken full con Remaining here with our lanterns will ensure the prowlers cannot move freely. I will not be kept on this island for another day. So the shore is where I will be. You may wait at the- If the prowlers come between us and you fail to make it to the bridges, I will leave you behind. If you were staying by the shore, perhaps I could be positioned somewhat further back from you. And then the others could stay further back still. That would keep us safer, without having any major gaps of darkness between us and the shore. I'd say that's likely our best option, and we don't have time to come up with any other way regardless. Fine.
What happened? There was a prowler in the woods. I didn't notice it until it was already too close to me. I dropped my lantern when I saw it. The light was enough to drive it away, but now it's gone. Shattered. We can make a small fire for light. That may work for now, but what will we do once we're back on the bridges? We will manage. Lou, please clear some space while I gather kindling. to your position, Kika. It will all be for nothing if we can't make it onto the bridges in the first place. Right. We're going to get through this. I figured there's not much of a chance any Nixie will get a hold of me here. They won't climb. Well, I won't bother trying to argue with that logic. Your safety is most important. Consider retreating. I cannot do that. Nixie recognized signs of weakness. Backing away will only increase the odds of them attacking. What's wrong? It is nothing. Keeping a hold of your light is crucial. However, if you took no risk, your only way across could have been lost. It wasn't an empty self-sacrifice. In your position, neither option was correct. Neither was wrong. Thank you. 
have to leave. when we get close. The smoke spewing off this thing is making it even harder to see than usual. So you tell me when it's time, Kika. I can do that. say anyone on these bridges are lucky, but we are. I don't know how we managed to do nothing wrong. That feels far more fitting for this journey. We need to start walking. We've already lost much time as it is. Well, the three of us could walk together. If there's one person close by, I can't imagine it would make much of a difference having another. Furthermore, I believe we've all taken enough risks for each other already for this to not be a problem. I think it would be fine if we all stayed together. Okay. We'll do that then. Thank you. What's going on? It was nothing. We need to keep going. We shouldn't speak of this. Stay where you are. The boards ahead are unstable. They may break when stepped on. Is there another path? This is our path. Move slowly and do not have two people on the same board at a time. I will cross first. the bridges this way. They can be burned into ash and will still rise the next nightfall. And yet this spot is less stable than the rest. That is strange. The unnatural black water has a great deal of magic within. That is the most reasonable source of the bridges. If this maze is formed without an intelligent creator that would explain its treacherous nature. now is solid. You only need to reach this position. We'll be right there. To ensure that there is enough light for all of us, I will go second. We need to keep enough distance between each other to not break the boards.
A part of the board broke. Everyone is fine, however. You should avoid that section completely. All right. light is gone. Relight it. I will allow one of you to remain in my light. Why? Someone who wants to live will share their light with no one. I will not share my light with three. Then, what about two? Could you please keep two of us safe? I will allow one and no more. Two will be left behind. Lingering at a distance far behind my light will leave you vulnerable. The wisest option is to continuously move, even if it means going another way. Kika. You are the most likely to survive. The offer is for you. My lantern broke because I foolishly dropped it. And I've already lost my glasses, so... Needs to be done. This is what it means to cross Sinlos. <sighs> Being without light is dangerous, even if you are close to another. The one who goes with me has no guarantee of making it across. You risk this entire journey being for naught. The correct decisions need to be made. Everyone should be aware of that. I will not choose someone else, and neither will they. Can you do so? Who deserves to be saved, and who lost in your mind? I'm not the one who can stop it now. I've noticed the attention you've given him. Is that what this is about? Do you want to sacrifice your position to give him a hope of safety? Or perhaps you would prefer the both of you being left so you remain together? Or does your relationship not matter after all, and you don't care who gets the chance, as long as you avoid a sense of guilt? You have to take the other one, Guide. Kika doesn't want to go. 
and I don't need you. You have your needed answer. There's only one person you can take. I hope that you'll be able to prove your keep by getting at least someone across. You have to go. He will take you. Why would you do that? Because it felt right. Well, you're wrong. I hope you realize. The decision has been made. You need to go. We will find our own way. Be safe, please. There isn't time left. Thank you both. Please don't look at me that way. I meant what I said. Besides, you promised to let me do what I needed to do. That was it, I'm sure. We probably should start running now. Prowlers. Stay close. I can at least clear the way we came so we can keep going. No. Swinging your sword will only give them another option to pull you down with. I've heard stories. Please listen, Kika. Run away with me. We can make it. All right. Since you're better informed on how to handle this, then, I will follow your lead. We should go. Okay, keep moving. I think we're safe right now. I noticed that Nixie can't be everywhere in this maze. It's huge. Now that we're away from them, we just have to be quiet. 
Of course. We should take this opportunity to fully rest. Then we can progress somewhat slowly for a time. Capturing the attention of those beasts with loud steps is something we must avoid. What are the odds? The two of us would end up getting left behind by the guide again. I cannot say. It isn't exactly the same, however. This time, it was you who chose to be with me. How could I not? There isn't anything else in this lake that's worth standing by. So are you still curious about me? I wouldn't mind sharing more, if you'd like. I can't give specifics, but if that's fine, then... I was the black sheep of my village. I wasn't ever able to accomplish anything, and it felt like I never belonged. I couldn't go anywhere else. It wasn't possible for someone like me. I didn't exactly want to leave, though. I only wanted to feel I was worthwhile, that I was wanted, needed. I tried again and again to be that to someone, but it was pointless. Like myself. You probably already know that much about me by this point, huh? I'll move on. During one of my attempts to be of any use, I made some mistakes. I got caught by people who threatened my village. I didn't have the nerve to stand up to them. I put everyone I knew at risk. I had a chance to make up for what I did, but I didn't take it. Now this is where I am. The worst part is, the longer I'm here, with you, the less I regret it. No matter what happens to them or me, I wouldn't ever want to change my decision to go with you. I'm such a selfish coward. At least I'm embracing that now. That's where I am heading. It's currently under siege, and I've been asked to assist in pushing the Brigadiers back. No specifics. I'm sorry. I understand. The people there will be alright. I will make sure of it. That's good.
we were going the right way. We can make it. We made it! We actually made it! The guide goes slow. when I started. I never mentioned it because I didn't want to get your hopes up, but it worked. I knew which way. That's incredible. You saved us. You're the one who saved us. I just assisted a little bit. You're only saying that because you're kind and want me to not keep feeling worthless. But it's okay. This is enough for me. More than enough. I'm so grateful it was this night. You know, everything that's happened to me before this point, well, that's water under the bridge. We shouldn't stay here. We don't have any light and those monsters could notice us. So this is goodbye. You're going to Hammer. I'm not. You don't mind telling me. If you have nowhere in mind, you should come with me. Where I'm going won't be safe yet. However, it will be soon, and I will defend you until it is. I'd like to. More than you know. But I can't. I need you to trust me when I say that if I did go, it wouldn't make anything better. I'm so sorry.
don't have to come. I understand. Still, I'd like to see you again. I want that too. When you have the chance, come back here. I'll wait for you. I promise. What? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it doesn't, but that's the only option we have. No matter how much I hate this shore, it's close enough and far enough. Goodbye, Kika. Kika. You came back for him. How do you know about that? Lou is dead. He was executed. What? No, that can't be. You have to be wrong. It wasn't possible for Lou to escape from what he had done. His fate was sealed. No one could save him. That is why he told me everything, in case he couldn't be here himself. Lou did wait for you. He stayed for as long as he could. His death was not peaceful. However, it was proud.
It all feels so... pointless. Still, you gave Lou something he never had. And it seems he gave you something in return. Perhaps that does have worth. Lou, I'll always remember you. I won't allow what you've done to be for nothing. I promise. 